Dear friends and colleagues, have you ever intentionally sabotaged your own job interview process, your job search, right? And I don't mean, yeah, I could have done something better with my resume or my cover letter, or I could have been dressed more appropriately. No, we'll get to those. That's separate video, right? That's separate conversation of what to do to actually get that call or to get that in-person meeting, because that's really what it truly comes down to. Once you're there in front of them, it's on you. If you're really good at what you do, you can sell your story, you can demonstrate your value, you can't. But let's get back to the topic of the video, right? Actually sabotage your search process, your job interview, midway through. I've done it twice. And most people don't know this, but here it goes. I've done it once for a top 100 national university for an IT leadership role, and I've done it once for a Fortune 100 massive company in a leadership role for a particular industry across North America right they, these both of these opportunities were years apart right um, I was very excited about each of them about the brand about the structure about the possibilities innovation I really wanted these roles these positions these opportunities to help that company and that university be better to grow to advance to improve and for me to grow, advance, and improve alongside with them. I was excited. I wasn't going in to waste anybody's time because I appreciate everybody's time, appreciate my own time. So that wasn't the case, right? That was all about it. However, in, one, in both cases, the reason why I made that decision, and I made them on the fly while sitting there in between meetings was one time, second time was during the meeting with an individual. Um, they were both tied to leadership and culture of that place. And leadership influences and impacts culture significantly. So here's what I mean. In one of them, they're both all day interviews, right? One has lasted for a month or two. What's the process? It was, you know, you're one of the top two or three finalists. We're bringing you in all day, nine to five. Last um, hour was one on one with the top executive. But right before I started that last hour, in my mind, right, I got this vision of this is not where I belong. This is not what I want. This is, and this is all based on the you know previous seven or eight hours that I've experienced. Multiple one-on-ones, meeting with a group of three or five, then another group of three or five, then you have a presentation of 30, 40 minutes or an hour to the whole division, right? I've gone through the gauntlet, right? And then I just realized this wasn't it. That my style, and my leadership style, my directness, my frankness, my radical candor, radical candor if you would like, um, wouldn't fit well, right? So I sabotaged the final interview with my body language, with my expressions, with certain answers. I did it intentionally. And not, no surprise to me, I got the call several days later that they decided to go in a different direction, right? It still kind of sucked, but I was at peace, right? I got to the finals, I got to the end, and I knew that that wasn't the right place for me. And that was the right decision, in retrospect in particular, because other things have fell in, fallen in place for me and, and have worked out for me in, in a much better way. Second one was a massive Fortune 100 company. and halfway through my 101 and this search lasted six plus months right multiple sites in multiple locations as you would expect halfway through my last hour-long interview I realized that this individual is not someone I can follow I wasn't someone they were looking for while it was a senior position they were looking for someone a lot more impressionable, controllable, and someone who was going to jump and hop at every sound that may come out of this individual's mouth. And that just isn't me. Now, I'm a team player. I'll put the jersey on. I'll do whatever I have to do. But you want me to be able to have my independent thought and share my thoughts and ideas. And you want to enable me and empower me to lead my area to a degree. Hold me accountable, but let me give it a shot. Because if I'm there, 
only to execute somebody else's orders and move the chess pieces exactly as I was told every single day that you don't really need someone like me. You need somebody else. So halfway through my last interview, I realized that this wasn't it. And this one I regretted even more because it was such an exciting opportunity, but I realized it wasn't it. So then I kind of threw the interview, right? The rest of the interview, one-on-one, the last 20, 30 minutes, I said some things I know he wasn't looking to hear. And then it ended with a presentation to eight or nine people that I've interviewed with that day. And I've said certain things intentionally to some questions that were not in line of what they wanted to hear entirely. I also did certain things during the presentation that weren't in line entirely with what was desired or expected. I wonder if they noticed, and I don't know, both of these have been a while ago, but I just wanted to share with you, and not a lot of people know this, maybe two or three, well, two or three before this video, but I've done it twice. I've intentionally sabotaged my job interview search and process. Have you? And if so, if so why? I wish you a wonderful day. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, please leave your thoughts on what I've just said and actually ramble off in probably the longest video I've posted in a very long time. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best.